it's a good reminder from Lucy about saying how we're going to do communication in the meeting. Hello. Um, Grumpity is not updated. Uh, Grumpity is um, outdated. But uh, once in a while, a A3D avatar will make an appearance. I, I won't let it happen again. I'm sorry. Um, okay, uh, today has been a bit of a bumpy ride, as some have pointed out. Uh, we are very sorry about this. Uh, atrocious uh, RC roll Wednesday, and I'm pretty certain nobody's having a worse time with it than we are. Uh, but <laughs> um, oh, we're uh, getting through it. Uh, we have a mitigation plan in place. It is being executed and m mitigating uh, as much as possible. Uh, we will then have a communication plan in place uh, and uh, we'll write a blog um, and explain as much as we can about all of this excitement and uh, ask for your forgiveness. Uh, thank you, Neri, for transcribing in Morse code. Much appreciated. We don't slap wrists here. Uh, we uh, support each other, wear Shrek ears, and um, do a post-mortem. We, we, uh, the tradition of Shrek ears is alive and well, and one of my favorites. Uh, but instead of slapping wrists, there's actually a lot of love flying around, and a lot of people are, um, jumping in to help and deal with the situation. Uh, Linden Lab may fall flat on various occasions, but we do great in a fire, and people um, are amazing at, at jumping in and helping and uh, getting things resolved. <laughs> All right. Um, OK. Um, one other thing I wanted to do was introduce a fresh, new Linden participant. Uh, I just want to make sure that um, he is here. I am here. I'm the cup of coffee at the end of the table. I'm just a little too short for you to see me. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, we are having uh, some trouble with the bake service, so I didn't see the cup of coffee right away. Um, I'm very glad that we were all able to get here today, though. So welcome. Please welcome Syntax. Be very nice to him so he doesn't, you know, throw his hands up in horror. Um, but uh, he will be joining our web user group meetings going forward um, and uh, working with the web team. Super excited to meet everybody. Uh, I'm sure uh, you are all asking him for a bear already. Give him a second. I have not created my bear yet, but I'm sure it'll be <laughs> time. 
All right. Thank you um, and welcome. Um, we were going to have all sorts of conversations and ask questions today. Um, but honestly, I, I have to do a mea culpa with the outage. Uh, didn't prepare very well. Um, so I'm going to turn to Kali and ask her if we have any excitement on the agenda. We do have excitement on the agenda. We've got uh, Garfield Linden here to talk about land portal and the design system. Uh, yeah, hi, can you hear me? Yes, thank you Garfield. Awesome, yep. So uh, just like Garpity said, outages have kind of consumed my day, so I didn't have enough time to really prepare anything super cool to talk with everyone about. Um, uh, well, no, I mean, there is something really cool. <laughs> uh, something I think folks will be pretty excited about. Um, we've embarked on a redesign of the Second Life website. And in so doing, we have uh, pulled together a lot of new technologies and new approaches to building websites um, that I think should have a lot of really positive impacts on um, residents for um, hopefully years to come. Uh, so you, you might have noticed the changes um, when you visit land.secondlife.com or secondlife.com slash land. Um, and we've been working closely with our designers to come up with uh, a design system, which is a whole uh, library of components basically that we can use to build our websites um, without having to reinvent the wheel on every single page over and over. Um, I've got a tech blog that we're working on um, that we're going to post uh, soonish that should go into a lot more detail about what this means and why it's so cool. Um, but you know, in the in the near term, you can take a look and it's new and shiny and cool and we'd love your feedback. Um, and so that, that can be offered in all the usual ways. Um, but yeah, uh, anyone has any immediate questions, you, you can I am me or something, but uh, I think we might also have a Q and A at the end. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, it's also yeah. mobile friendly, um, so that's cool. Uh, Kali, anything you wanted to add? Yeah, and we will be taking questions and uh, all of that like normal. Um, the other thing that we've got coming still on the way. Um, we are so thankful that y'all have made so many uh, transactions in the marketplace over the years, but it is taking us longer than we expected to index those so that we can give you the updated marketplace search. Um, the code is ready for the updated marketplace search. The switch is available. We just need to make sure that when we turn it on, you're able to see your entire order history, and that's taking longer than expected. So I'm excited about that being ready to go live pretty soon. Um, and uh, the next thing coming up for Garfield and the UI design system part of the team is uh, going to be the Linden Home Store. So it'll be easier and prettier to look at all of the beautiful linden homes that the LDPW team has come up with for us. So I'm also looking forward to that, but it's going to take a while to get there because we want to make sure we get it right. So um, that's what's coming up in the near future. And uh, I am, in fact, ready to, unless Alexa is here and has questions, but she might not be. Um, I'm ready to move it over to questions from from y'all. Thank you, Kali. Alexa's not here. She is uh, still knee deep in um, dealing with the RC roles and uh, the bumps. It, it's been a, a really exciting day.
No, uh, great question, Neri. Uh, the rental section is trying to explain rentals from uh, in the existing way. Um, we didn't really have a place to explain how that might work to new people coming in, and we wanted to explain that better. Yeah, to, to be clear, nothing has changed with how land works um, with this new land website. It's just a pulling together of information across um, old web pages uh, into a whole new portal that make, should make that easier. And Yuzuru translations are coming for the new uh, land landing page website. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we shipped it and got it out uh, and got the copy stabilized before we got all of the translations in. So that is coming soon. Orion, uh, it, it is, while this isn't the proper venue, I do uh, have an answer, and it's that uh, they are actively being worked on, but there's no date. There. The, the, there's moles digging tunnels and, um, you know, putting together bricks and stuff. I have no more comment on the Linden homes. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, and I have nothing else to say. Neri, where is your partner at now? More questions? We have sourced those photos from Flickr, and I think we've also sourced some of them internally. Um, but uh, yeah, we uh, we'll probably continue sourcing from Flickr. But we we try to provide attribution as well. And, um, I don't know if we reach out to the creator or not. I think we do. Uh, if the image is sourced from a creator, you would see the credit um, as you can with uh, the flowery woman feeding some goats um, on the land page. Uh, on the Linden Home section, for example, you can see an attribution. And then the, uh, the one below it as well. Um. Orion, uh, not a specific plan for my, but uh, barring any unforeseen challenges, we'd like to roll the design system we're starting on land out to pretty much all of the Second Life web properties. Um, we don't have a particular roadmap. Um, Grumpity and I and Syntax and Alexa are talking about what comes next, uh, but my is not on the plan for what comes next. 
immediately. Mary, I see your G-Shade question, but I have to admit, I don't actually know what you mean. At, at least now I, I feel uh, less out of the loop, <laughs> because I also don't know what that means. Orion, there is not. I see. I thought you were referring to um, the website. to our web properties. Um, I think this is a, a a question that is better saved for um, a viewer user group um, or a content creators user group. Actually, I see what you mean. For Hannah, what idea? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Hannah, the what ideas do we have for Marketplace Two? Um, we are formulating that, so we don't have anything solid yet. Uh, but we'd be interested in your ideas for Marketplace. I think, uh, especially, yeah, we'd love to hear your ideas. Lucy, what do you? What's Void Music? Well, that's pretty advanced regex and search criteria. Have you heard the joke about uh, you have one problem, you try to solve it with regex, and now you have more problems? We are going to have uh, some more, um, what do we call it? Yeah, um, but we are going to have fuzzy searching. So uh, we'll have some some fuzziness, and I think we will have. I, Garfield, do we have negative tags in web search? Uh, is that one of the things we're stealing for Marketplace? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get some some basic like, you know, nots and ors and ands and stuff in Marketplace Search that you'll be able to use. Um, and I could also imagine at some point we might add more advanced filtering. Um, at least that's my vision of a Marketplace too. I'm not, I'm not sure what the product's vision would be. 
Well, but for this first pass, we are definitely going to have um, closer yes. to parity with web search. That's that's correct. That's a pretty interesting idea, Hannah. I love that you mentioned that loan or wonder or whichever, because that's a thing that we've talked about. And I love when uh, people ask for it when Grumpity's here. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I see what you mean, Hannah. Yeah, I've, um, that specific idea, Hannah, is something I, I, I'm particularly interested in and have thought about in the past and would love to see on Marketplace myself. But uh, um, maybe we can push on that a little. What, what's handy for houses, Lou? Um, I, I think sellers do do that quite a bit that I've seen. How is it different than a demo item?
Freight, that's an interesting idea, but uh, hmm. I, I, to be honest, I don't think that's likely. Um, it would require both, you know, sellers opting into it, but then also uh, the marketplace supporting it. I'm curious in exploring that though. Tell me why the pay what you want pricing would be um, something that you as a seller would want. We are talking about adding some uh, price changey kinds of options like coupons and store sales and item sales. So while we're thinking about that, we can ponder if it's idea about tip the creator or pay what you want. Um, but I, I can't promise anything either. I don't know what that would be like. I have to confess, um, the the time it takes uh, log logged in pages to load in in the viewer is a personal pet peeve of mine, and it seems that every time we make some uh, strides forward, um, there's a new snag we hit. Same. I think that the time it takes to load in viewer browser things is too darn high, but also marketplace specifically, I would definitely like to work on the page load time. Yeah, we love that idea, Hannah, about filtering by body. Um, we've been talking about that. Do you have any suggestions for that, Neri?
I think we talked about like most popular, most equipped bodies, but um, we haven't nailed anything down yet. So definitely looking for ideas. Um, I think we can look at currently equipped, maybe. I have a crazy idea, but again, I haven't really gotten vetted or know how it would work, but um, yeah, I would like to give a gold star to things with low land impact by rendering. Kali, um, I, I think maybe you want to say a few more words about that idea. So if we could uh, have like a side bake or whatever and uh, load marketplace listed items and see what the land impact for that item would be if it is in the good threshold, whatever the good threshold is. Uh, then the marketplace listing would get a gold star and that could happen programmatically so that residents could possibly search by, shoppers could maybe search by gold star items or at least could see that it had a gold star when they got to a listing. Complexity is another option, yes. Land, land impact is a much easier one right now. Right, there's um, all sorts of issues where, you know, having no LODs um, and requiring everyone to <laughs> change their viewer to a an unreasonable default uh, it is a thing that happens in Second Life. Yeah, I don't think we're talking about making the body list uh, just pick up everything that's listed as a body. Um, and I haven't uh, talked to enough people, but it sounds like Lucy uh, has some interesting ideas about gold star ratings. Um, it just seems like making it easier for people to make good choices will make lag better for all of us. So I'd like to give some tools in and around our product platform for making it easier to have shareable impact choices. If I have the choice between two hats and one of them gets a gold star and the other one doesn't, I might pick the gold star hat.
I don't hate the idea of your fantasy world, Hannah. Um, I don't know how we would do it, but uh, I I kind of like the idea of having a little window you can pop up with the 3D model you can drag around of the item. Um, I think that's a bit longer down the road, but I would I would like that for being able to look at a few different angles of whatever it was I was thinking about buying. So that could be something like, uh, I want to put my marketplace item forward as a thing that people can register compatibility with.
Well, hey, I have a very general question for you all, um, both, I think, as creators and consumers. Um, when you do your own shopping, do you start by looking in world, going to events, um, looking on the marketplace, then going in world to the store, um, and vice versa when you're listing your products? Where do you start and kind of what becomes the afterthought? By events, do you mean like shopping events? That was my assumption. Toothless, that's how I shop in real life too. <laughs> Y'all have talked in the past about wanting something like an events marketplace page where like, you know, if there's a, a second life uh, Halloween shop and hop or whatever that you could have it temporary mall store like page where a bunch of different creators could list Halloween specific marketplace items together. I love you for shop and hop, really. Mary, are you saying you want to be able to 
have a slurl to the item directly instead of just to the store? Ah. Uh, I see. Um, I mean, even better is if we actually uh, do smart landmarks. And then every time you move, the landmark just moves with you. Um, I'm not saying that we're going to like ship it next week, but we definitely want to do smart landmarks. It is a dated feature request. We still want to do it, though. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't become less relevant with time, has it? I will double check on that, Lucy. We just did a um, tech refresh on that, but I don't know that we intended to change that, so thank you for asking. Grim, uh, we very much have been thinking about this uh, and have at various times gotten uh, somewhat far along the design process, uh, but we have um, we've scoped this uh, several times and um, <laughs> uh, we haven't started work on it, but uh, it's something we would definitely like to do and see the value of.
Lone Wanderer, we have a regular featured triage. Um, we didn't suddenly double our workforce, unfortunately. Um, but we do try to keep on top of the feature triage. When we accept a JIRA, it doesn't mean that we commit to getting it done in some scope of time. It means we think it's a good idea and uh, think that there could be a path to getting it done in some uh, visible future. Lucy, I don't hate the yes no totals uh, idea. Um, I yeah, don't hate it. We can go check. Oh yeah, we aren't pulling the the old standard. They put it in a Jira. <laughs> now I'm really curious though, Lucy. Give me a preview. How are you guys finding the first web user group without read is the real question, Neri. I think, um, you may find uh, some new features from the server team. Uh, very welcome, Lucy. But I suggest, um, yeah, I suggest you bug that team. Well, thank you. We we try our best, um, and uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, some little penguin uh, who shall not be named um, <laughs> is missed widely. But also, uh, we will do our best to keep things um, good vibes. Yeah, that poor little penguin. Um, we dressed as a penguin for the last group meeting. Hold up. Well, on that note, I think we're at time. Good questions today, guys. Thanks, y'all. 
I'm really trying hard to stop saying guys. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there you go, Butch. Is that better? But you know what this penguin can't do? Can't fly! Tragic. <laughs> Alright. Um. Poor little flightless bird. Thank you all. Thanks, y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, we hope for no more excitement on the RC regions or otherwise. Ciao. Adios. Hasta luego. Au revoir. A bientôt.